Somebody stop this crazy thing! Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Pikmin! Last time, we got around a good chunk of stuff in the Forest of Hope. We uh, cleared out some areas, and we also upgraded our ship's capabilities to visit a new area. Today, instead of going back to the Forest of Hope for a third time, we are instead going to head off to the Forest Naval. A pretty challenging area, and honestly not one of my favorites in this game, but I do like the music here, so let's go pay the visit. Welcome to the Forest Naval. An interesting thing about this place, uh, I don't know if we're actually going to get it in Olimar's report at the end of this, probably not because of what we're going to discover, but Olimar calls it the Forest Naval because the when he looked at it from uh, the atmosphere, it looked like a belly button to him, which I always found kind of funny. Alright, let's get ourselves 30 reds. Uh, do we really want yellows right now? Yeah, you know what, let's get... Seven yellows. I'm starting low on my Pikmin numbers just because, well, there's a little bit of a secret close by base here. So, in the meantime, we're going to get these guys working on this wall right here, and we're going to go off and explore on our own. Because right around the corner, and this sitting in the water over there... Da -da -da -da, check it out! It's a soggy onion! Well, at least I know it'll be nice and fresh and washed by the time that the Pikmin sprout from it. And there we go. There is our third Pikmin type. Let our boy grow a nice, strong sprout. Pluck him out of the water. I can't get over that, that goofy-looking mouth that he has. It is a Pikmin of yet another color. Near this one's cheeks are appear to be what to be a set of gills. The trait suggests to me that this blue type of Pikmin can enter water without any trouble whatsoever. There's only one way to find out. Uh, well, there's not really any way to find out. You, he literally was born in the water, Olimar. But yes, blue Pikmin are aquatic. You, they can enter water. They're not as strong as red Pikmin. In fact, nothing's really as strong as red Pikmin in this game uh, because they share the same attack damage as yellow Pikmin do. But they can traverse a bit more uh, than the other Pikmin variants. Also, I need to make this known right now, and I need to ask everybody who's watching this, because it, it, it bears uh, importance. Do you see gills on these guys? Because I don't. I just see their mouths. Omar says that there's like gills uh, on their cheeks, but no, that that's just a mouth. Which I also kind of find funny that the only Pikmin that have breathe, uh, mouths to breathe, breathe through are the aquatic ones, when the ones with a nose and, and only ears uh, drown when they're in water. Oh, sounds like they just broke down the wall. Nice. All right. Well, let's just start by raising up our blue counts, and uh, let's head over here. I think we can actually get an early ship part if we can get these things broken down fast enough. Uh oh oh lord he's coming so over there is a i guess you could call it a boss it's more of a mini boss this is the bread bug he's mostly harmless i'm i'm saying mostly just because well uh he won't straight up attack your pikmin but he will uh kill them if he actually gets back to his burrow in time what i do to fight him is just pull a piece of well, anything on the ground, uh, and pull back to the, their onions, and that will do a lot of damage to him. As you can see, he's almost dead. Another thing about him is, he's carrying one of our ship parts. Now, you might be wondering how we're supposed to take him out if there's nothing for him to grab onto to play a little game of tug of war. Oh, no, 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 get back here, get back here, get back here right now, boys. Uh, those are sheer wigs. Uh, they are very dangerous. They're basically sheer grubs that can fly. And uh, they are such a pain in the ass to deal with. The, the problem with Shearwakes is after a certain amount of damage, they will take flight. When they take flight, they heal. Unless they fly over water, in which case they actually will take damage. I can't believe he is just so low on health. And, oh my god. Is there anything I can do to play a game with Tug of War with him? Or maybe I can lure him over here? You can actually damage him without playing Tug of War if you can get a Pikmin to land right on top of him. It's just really hard to do because of his shell. It's like a really slippery shell. Come on, get, get, no. 
There we go, got him. Thank goodness, my space float. This float is an absolute necessity for any pilot who lacks the skill swimming at space. An excellent swimmer like me has no need for something like this, but my motto is always be prepared. Really, it's just for emergencies. And it also takes 25 Pikmin to carry up. Alright, uh, you know what? Let's have the blues take the bread bug. They definitely could use the numbers because, well, they were just discovered today. And I'll have the remaining blues work on that. And I shall have the, the rest of the battalion head on over there and help carry the float back to the ship. Yeah, sure, you're fine. You guys can work on that as well. Who knows? Maybe you'll find some nectar in there. So while we uh, just babysit the blues carrying uh, the bread bug back to their onion, uh, there's a bit of an interesting trivia to the bread bug. The bread bug is actually the same species as the dwarf bulb orbs. They just have a shell instead of the spots on their back. You can actually see the, uh, the resemblance to the dwarf bulb orbs in the fact that they got the tiny little like two feet below them. And their eyes are sort of in stocks, but the stocks are hiding underneath the shell. Well, only three Pikmin. I figured they would carry more than that. Ah, oh, well. Just pluck some more blues. We got 19 on us. I think we have enough to get that ship part in the other set of water. But we'll just have to wait and see. I think it takes 15 Pikmin to carry. Maybe 20. Aw, did your friends leave you behind? Come on, you can join us. You guys drink up. And our space boat made it back to the ship. Space float, an excellent swimmer at me. Yep, it's basically the same dialogue. Now recovered six out of 30 parts. I can just find six more. I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. You little glutton. Why'd you save some for the rest of your brothers? Come on, let's go. All right, let's get the entire battalion formed up. I'm gonna break them off into groups. We're gonna have our blues go down with that yellow. <clears throat> You're not wanted. Ooh, 19. I'm hoping that's still enough to carry back this part. It's not that big, so I think it might just be 15 Pikmin. I found my number one Ionium jet. Unfortunately, this puts off a slightly odor furious exhaust, but it does propel me to escape velocity in an instant. The stench is a small price to pay for such performance. Well, you're wearing a helmet, Olimar, so I, it has to, like, filter out the smell, right? All right, cool. You guys are working on ter carrying that back, and as you saw right next to the jet, there were a set of bomb rocks. Now, normally I wouldn't even bother with those because it's such a pain to have to throw the Pikmin down there, grab the bomb rocks, and then uh, throw them up and up and up uh, till they reach the top of this uh, little set of hills. However, it's still almost midday. We've actually been making a, a pretty decent amount of progress, and I would like to try and open up some new pathways. So let's just swarm you boys in there, see if there's anything worth grabbing. Oh wow, there were a lot of bomb rocks out here. Man, I've been mistaken. All right. now let's just head up here, take the long way, because unfortunately, Olimar's tiny little stick arms cannot climb up that stick or climb up the sheer rock wall. Alright, come on, boys. Put you guys up there. And... No, you fools! I'm not going back for those other set of bomb. Uh, you know what? The hell with it. Oh, I see some reds joined in and help carrying that jet back. If this is damaged, I'll be in dire straits. I'll have to run a systems check as soon as I can. Seven out of 30 parts. Only five more to go, and then we can go check out a new area. 
Oh my god, you guys are so stupid. I think that was actually an issue that was fixed in the Wii version as well. Uh, if you use the whistle to call your Pikmin... Oh wow, there was even more back there than I thought. If you use your whistle to call the Pikmin uh, that are carrying bomb rocks, they won't drop them like the idiots that they are. Now I think I only have enough to break down a, a simple wall. Which is fine, there is actually a small uh, wall we can break down easily to help get pieces back that are in the lower section of here because I actually haven't gone over the map yet. There's a lot to explore. Like, you got a part over there, but you have to take a long path to even get to. There's a part sitting way out in the abyss over there. There's a part sitting pretty close to camp, and if we play our cards right, we might be able to snag it and bring it back to camp before the day runs out. There's one sitting in a big pool of water over there. There's one sitting on a cliff over here. There's one sitting in a little patch right here, and there's one sitting down there in that little lower area. Those two, last two are going to be interesting to get, not going to lie, because... Oh, that one was my own fault. I was too busy explaining stuff to remember that, hey, don't whistle, you idiot. Oh, that was for nothing. Come on, boys. Let's throw you guys up there. I hate that that's a thing that was in this version of the game. I'm glad the, that the Wii version fixed it, but my god, that is so annoying to do, or to deal with. Alright, well, in that case, let's just get everybody together, and let's head on over... not here. Ooh, honey wisp. Yellow, yellow, I need a yellow. Okay, maybe I don't want Wow, only a few blues got uh, flowered. Guys, stop it, I don't need that geyser working. There's another honey wisp over here. Maybe I can. Oh, I know he's out of range. Yo! Ah, just barely missed him. Alright, well, I'll have the Pikmin start working on that. And wow, they're making some pretty good progress. And buddy, you might want to get out from down there because seriously, you're going to be in for a bad time. Alright, well, they're going to be climbing up over there. There's our other ship part just sitting on that little plateau right there. Get up! My god, what is it with flowers uh, tripping over themselves all the time? It's usually supposed to be a leaf attribute. Alright, uh, oh, one, only one Pikmin need to be over there. Oh my god, you guys. Okay. Uh oh, uh oh, take out the sheer wig. Take it out, take it out. And we lost a Pikmin. I found the automatic gear. This thing chugs right along at its own pace. It makes piloting much easier, giving me time to concentrate on the finer points of space travel. Like, you know, dodging asteroids. Uh, I don't know who we lost, but... Uh, sure. Uh, who, who's got it? Okay, the red's got it. Uh... Uh-huh. It's an interesting carrying technique you got there, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of imagine that they were that the Pikmin on top were just like running on run on top of it like they were on top of a tire or something. Alright, well, that's making its way back to base. And oh, left some Pikmin behind. Come on, boys. Let's go. Together. Good. Uh, you know what? Let's raise up some blue numbers while we're here. We're gonna actually need a fair decent amount of blues if we want to get another ship part back in the Force of Hope, which is where we're gonna be revisiting afterwards. So. Oh, you idiots! You, there, you, there. Fine, sure. You two can work on that one. more and just get my blue, mer blue numbers back up. And while we finish up the day, we're gonna just start building down these little ramps to get to the lower section a lot easier. Automatic gear. It has thin cracks running through it. I tried filling in with dirt. I hope it'll be alright. So yeah, instead of using bonding agents, rivets, reinforced metal plating, and welding it all together, 
Olimar just uses dirt to fill in the cracks. No wonder my ship fell apart so easily. You guys, I'll have one start. I'll have a couple of flowers plucking grass over there. And that can be your little tree for getting this built. Uh, built. Now, there is something very important to note about building ramps and bridges in this game. If there are any Pikmin underneath this, by the time that the bridge or ramp is built, they instantly die. They just get crushed to death. Even if it looks like it, you can just run right underneath it. Any Pikmin underneath will automatically just be killed. So you want to be careful when you swarm Pikmin onto it. Make sure that there are no underneath it that will die a needless death. Alright, have you boys eat up. Grow big and strong for me. And yeah, we got a pretty decent number of flowers on this. There's only like a couple leaves. Looks like a couple reds and a couple blues. Okay, fine. You know what? Just because it's close to the end of the day. Have you guys working on that as best you can? Alright, you guys do that. Uh, oh no. Am I going to be able to get that blue that's over by... I don't know if it's close to the onion or if it's close to the... The, the landing zone that they're safe, but I'm not going to take any chances. I'll leave the blues that are down there just... Staying down there for the time being. Let's get you guys going through here. Avoid the fiery bloat hogs. Those are new enemies. They are completely uh, fire based. Alright, actually, you know what? Here, just get as much progress done as you can, boys. Nice. Alright, everybody together. Let's get out of here. Uh, the fiery blow hogs, they breathe fire, as their name suggests. Uh, but since red Pikmin are immune to fire, you definitely want to just focus attacking them with reds. And no, if you take your pick, take your blues into the water, if they're on fire, it doesn't put the fire out. The only way to put fire out on Pikmin is to whistle on them. All right. Well, all in all, that was a pretty successful day, if I do say so myself. Got a lot of ship parts. Got ourselves a new Pikmin. I think uh, that was probably one of the more successful days on our adventure here. I was kind of hoping I could see the blues running in the background, trying to frantically get back to the Runyon. Oh no, we left the blue behind! Where did it, where was he? Hmm. Aww. Uh, that's gonna haunt me till the day I die of wondering where the hell that blue was. Deep in the cave, I've discovered the, the forest. I encounter blue Pikmin. These blue fellows have something resembling gills on their cheeks, and they appear to be amphibious, surviving both in water and on land. The wonders of nature never cease to stun me, even in this alien land. However, they are very much idiots and will get left behind even when they were called, because I swear to god that there was all the Pikmin were with me or back at base. <sighs> well, that was our first Pikmin left behind and we lost two in battle. I think that was just straight from the Shearwigs. Oh well, still got more Pikmin sprouted than we lost uh, from the end of the day or from battle. And hey, we made some pretty good progress in ship hearts. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is where we're going to call it. Next time on Pikmin, we are going to return back to the Forest of Hope. Actually, uh, actually no, we're going to return back to the Impact site because there is a ship part over there, and I can also use that day to just get my Pikmin numbers back up. We definitely do need to start raising those blue numbers because they are very, very low. Anyways, until then, I will see you all next time.